Hey guys, so I've got a slightly different type of video for you today. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. This product here before me is called a Geek Box. Uh, it's available at geekbox.tv. Uh, the folks over there were very kind and sent me over a review copy uh, for me to uh, basically demonstrate to you guys. And it looks like a pretty interesting bit of kit. It's designed as an open source set-top box that runs uh, Ubuntu and... Uh, Android. I think you get a choice of the operating systems as well as a choice of, an, uh, of a third one. Um, and I'm going to basically spend today doing a bit of a, an unboxing and a bit of a very brief review of it out of the box. And then I'm going to spend a few days trying it out in different situations and seeing what you can do with it. And um, then basically reporting back to you on, on what it's like and, um, and, and how I find it. So without further ado, let's get this box open. So I've actually gone ahead and, and unwrapped the stuff inside the box and one thing I did notice was that it was very airtight, very, very airtight. This box is actually very nice. It's a very good quality kind of uh, kind of thing. Ooh. Yeah, you got to get that uh, that air airflow out there. Right. So this is the uh, the nice little manual. So the idea behind the geek box seems to be that it's. Um, like it's a set top box that you can sort of then craft and create and improve and augment um, as you see fit. It's it's you know, you, you make your uh, your home set top box what you want it to be. So you can make it into a media center or something to that effect. So this is the geek box itself. So I'll just move that over there. Now this, this is very small, very, very small. So it would work very well. It would work very well in a variety of deployments from the looks of it, especially if it's running Ubuntu by default. So, or even Android as well. You do quite a lot with Android these days. So here we go. Just get the uh, get the wrapping off. Hmm, it's very nice packaging. So what we've got here, this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So yeah, we'll just move that up there. So that's the wireless, presumably, and that. So you can see that from the top. That's it. That's what it would look like if it was sort of balanced on top of your your set top box. Very slick, very small. So what have we got um, on the back here? So you've got two two USBs there, uh, network port, HDMI. I believe that would be the power, and then that's I think micro USB there with two antennas. So that's quite a lot for such a small little package. Okay, so um, I can unbox the rest of the stuff there. That's the uh, that's the pièce de résistance. Comes with a remote. Oh, that's pretty good. Sorry about any rustling of the packages. I don't do unboxing videos very often, of course. Yeah, decent remote. It's a remote. There you go. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how useful um, that is as we uh, as we progress through. And then there's the uh, there's the cardboard. Uh, cardboard divide here and then we've just got the uh, we've got the British plug there it goes into USB so it's uh, it gives you all the kit with it with it it comes with all the kit which is uh, you can't really say fairer than that and this is the this is the USB to power by the looks of it and then this is the HDMI to HDMI cable which uh, I got a good number of spares lying around, but it's always good to have extra HDMI cables, especially if it's a good one. Um, so there we go. That is uh, that's our kit then. Straight out the box, power HDMI, and then of course the Eek box itself. I don't know the best way to present this. So there you go. So uh, let's get it all plugged in and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I've unboxed it, plugged it in, and have been playing around with it for a couple of hours now, about two or three hours. And I've got to say, uh, first impressions, I'm really actually quite impressed with this. So what do you get out of the box in terms of, um, of, the, of the software side of things? Well, you actually get uh, a piece of kit that dual boots out of the box. And I've never seen any piece of hardware do this that gives you the option to boot either into their Android partition or into their Lubuntu partition. So that's two operating systems with uh, like huge amounts of uh, software available for them. 
So uh, that's quite promising just out of the, for the out-of-the-box solution. However, that being said, the Geekbox is clearly designed to be very much a roll-your-own solution for whatever you might need it to be. So what it comes out of the box with is not wholly important, but everything worked when I plugged it in, and it, and it booted up into the Android operating sy system first, and then it allowed me to select the uh, Lubuntu one if I wanted to use that instead or as well as and so forth. So uh, it gives you plenty of options, even straight out of the box. The Lubuntu install is a little bare bones, so the idea is that you actually install some apps on top of it. Um, the Android uh, install as well doesn't have like as many apps as you might get sort of out of the box with, say, a phone. But again, this is the geek box. The idea is that you sort of roll your own solution. Uh, one of the things that I'm actually quite excited about is just the number of uses uh, that this little piece of kit can can really do. Um, if you are looking for just a standalone computer to do one small task and one small task well, this could very well be the option that you want. If you want to um, have uh, have like a, a Duke box, uh, you could put some decent speakers with your TV, uh, put uh, put the Geek Box in as a TV unit, then uh, put all your songs onto MP3, put them onto the Geek Box, and then you would just have that, uh, you know, you'd be able to transform your TV into a into a into a into a jukebox, or you could do the same thing with a media center. So what I'm going to be doing over the next week or so is I'm going to be putting the Geekbox through its paces. This is something I really like to see uh, what you can actually do with it once it's pushed to its limits. So I'm going to be trying all sorts of software on it, and I'm going to be trying all sorts of innovative ways to try and use this. Um, and I got to say, I am actually really quite surprised at just the physical size of it. This is it. This is tiny. This fits in your pocket. You can take this anywhere. So not only is it a potential uh, sort of domestic solution for a, for a jukebox media center, um, you could possibly use it to do something like operate CCTV cameras or something if you if you owned a shop, I guess. I don't know. You can, If you think of anything a computer can do that doesn't require too much in the way of processing power or graphical processing power, um, you could probably do it with a Geekbox. But I'm going to find out in uh, in later videos on this channel. So feel free to uh, stay in touch. Okay, so I'm going to be spending the next week trying all the different things that you might be able to use a Geek Box for, and then I'm going to obviously report back to you and, and let you know how the Geek Box performs in such situations. Uh, i got to say, it's a pretty exciting piece of gear, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it can do. Um, if it's as good as, as sort of the first impressions are, I'm probably going to be bringing it in as part of uh, my day-to-day -day solution. It's nice to have a very small standalone computer that does one task and then you can sort of set it and that's the task that it focuses on while you go ahead and focus on other stuff. Uh, I think that could be, uh, you know, that could be a real benefit to a workflow type situation. Um, there are like there are limitless things I can think of doing with the Geekbox. So I'm going to be trying as many of those as possible. If you have any creative ideas yourselves, please let me know either in the comment section below or on Twitter at Tech with Chris. If you would like to also find out what you know, sort of what I'm going through in real time, Twitter's probably the best place to catch up with me. Um, but until then, um, thank you very much for watching. And um, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.